Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here, and I'm super excited to bring you the review of SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider O's Sagozo Combo, or if all of you know, I call it the White Blaster Beetleborg, and of course you have to pause for dramatic effect. So I'm super excited for this figure. Um, as you know, probably my foes, foes? That's next year's Rider. Uh, probably my favorite uh, O's combo, because he looks like the White Blaster Beetleborg, and he is awesome. So, uh, Beetleborg's jokes aside, let's go ahead and get started with the box. Um, Typical O style packaging, I guess you could say. Now you've done, they're, they're changing it up this year. It looks uh, look really. It, it looks great. Um, it's all done in like all white, which makes it you know fit the theme of Sagos. Though it's got a cool like uh, computerized picture of the figure on the side. Uh, so it says Common Rider uh, O Sagozo combo in silver, and then it's got the three rings of the different metals, and then it's kind of black in the center, so it contrasts to it, and it looks really good with all the colors. On the sides, it just says the name again. Um, bottom numbers we need to call, and the name on the top again. On the back, some epic shots of what you can do with him. Just kind of an action fighting pose. Uh, angry, getting ready to beat his chest mode. Uh, scanning charge, uh, and then getting ready to punch you. Uh, so very cool. Love the packaging for these. So, uh, accessories wise, what does he come with? Is He comes with not really a whole lot. He's got his splayed open molester hands, which I really don't know why I call them that other than copying Shuki. But they're like action style hands. And then he's got holding the metal gel over hands, which is, no, wait, are these, no, hold on, I, I might have mixed them up. Okay, well he's got holding metal gel over hands, and then he's got two other holding hands, which is kind of unusual. I know one of them is for holding the, uh, the O's scanner, but usually the O's figures only come with one other holding hand for the O's scanner, but whatever. And he comes with a metal gel over, and I know if you've been watching my O's reviews, you know I really hate this thing. It's nicely painted, but it's a piece of poop. Like, this one more so than ever, because he really did use it in this form, and I can't see it being convenient to use it in this form with the giant boxing gloves and all, but whatever. He comes with it because they're like, hey, you know what? All the other forms came with it, whatevs. I'll just put it with every else figure. Fuck, we'll even throw it in with birth, whatever. So yeah, he has that. So nothing, like, wild or exciting accessories-wise, but he comes with exactly what he needs. So now, dun, 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 dun the epic event. Time to look at the White Blaster Beetleborg. He looks awesome. Like I said, favorite O's combo, and he looks fantastic. The paint details on him is awesome, and I do not see on mine, at least, that many paint mistakes at all. Take a look at his face. Awesome White Blaster Beetleborg-esque face with the white paint and the black accents and the red compound eyes. Uh, there's a little, like, two tiny, tiny paint mistakes, but that's like nothing to cry over. Seriously, figure arts for people. Face looks awesome. Got the gorilla arms that look fantastic here. All silver and black, and they just look really great. His uh, chest crescent, or crest, crescent, that's a moon. Chest crest looks awesome, also nicely painted. See the side gorilla and zoe portions. As always, the driver is done up really well with the three individual metal colors. It's also removable. Here's the scanner it comes with, also highly detailed. Uh, it's, it comes outside the package, but I consider it part of the figure. So the belt done nicely. Oh, and look, it's demonstrating itself by being a D-bag. Okay, come on, get back on there. There we go. And then the Zoe legs, the blandest part of White Blaster Beetleborg, just all black here. Is the light even on? I don't know. Let me turn the light on. There we go, so you can see stuff better. Uh, just kind of like this metal silvery uh, legs, but they look they look good. Overall, like the paint details on them, as usual, are really great. And there's no like major nicks on them or anything, just like that tiny hiccup right here. Um, as for articulation, you know, he uses the same base mold. A nice 360 uh, shoulder joint here, there we go. Uh, swiveling here, double uh, elbow joint here. Um, also, it's hindered slightly by his giant glove, as you can see here when I was trying to bend it. And also, when these two interact like I just did, they can hinder it a little bit, but it's nothing too huge. His hand swivels and all that stuff. Uh, he's got swiveling at his waist and his chest. 360 head movement all around, movement up and down. Uh, 360 uh, nice leg joint here, ball joint, uh, swiveling, double knee joint, uh, and then his foot swivels and moves back and forth, and then he's got the toe action. I also forgot to mention how cool that it is, it's kind of like a rhino boot, because it's like, or not a rhino boot, like an elephant boot. Sorry, I was thinking rhino and it goes up, I don't know, it looks cool. Okay, so, you're probably wondering, is there any like other QC problems? I cannot speak for everyone else's sagos though, but this is by far the best O's figure art I have gotten. Like, okay, so O's had the loose head, right? 
and got to Kiriba, had loose head problems and loose leg problems. Uh, Rautor Ta, I don't, they had the same loose head problem as Tatsuba, and then he also had like a nick over here on him. And by nick, I mean like a scratch, not like some just guy named Nick hanging out over on Rautor Ta's mane. Um, but no problems with him at all, other than those two tiny, I wouldn't even call it a, a QC problem, pain mistake, uh, things. No articulation problems. This guy feels solid. He feels like what a regular figure art should feel like. All of his joints feel solid. They don't feel like they're loose. They don't feel like they're about to become loose. Even his head is not loose whatsoever. So I am extremely pleased that my favorite O's combo made it through without any major problems. So he is great. The best O's combo to date. Um, I mean, you know, figure-wise, without the problems. Um, let me see what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, it would have been kind of a disaster if this guy had problems because of how top-heavy he can be. Hold on. This isn't a problem here. I just had his legs positioned weird. There we go. So he's fine. So now, just because it's fun, let's compare him. Uh, here is the OCC uh, White Blaster Beetleborg figure. And they're pretty much the same height. Um, let's see if I can't zoom in. And I'll do like a back-to-back -back deal. Because the OCCs are a lot taller than like the WFCs and the, um, whatchamacallits, uh, final form rides. So they're pretty much the same height. It almost looks like, what because his head's down. Okay, because his head's down, it looked like he was taller. But they're practically the same height. <laughs> OCC almost does look taller. But obviously there's no comparison in the details. I mean, you can just see it. Like, the, the, the paint on this wasn't bad, I have to admit, but there's just an overall better polish to his body, and obviously the, the helmets look way different. This one looks far more realistic. But there is a comparison of those two. So obviously, if you're out for detail, this is the way to go. Um, but it's still cool. I'm glad I have both of them, because I love the White Blaster Beetleborg. Um, or Sagozo. And then, you know, how could you not expect this obvious cameo by his his ancestor, right here, of the White Blaster Beetleborg? So there's the three together, the trio of White Blaster Beetleborgs. It's so White Blaster Beetleborg, I can't even handle it. I think I'm about to pass out. So uh, we'll get on to final verdict now. Overall, a fantastic figure art. The first O's figure art uh, that I've gotten that feels solid, that I don't have any real complaints about. Joints are all fine, paint's fine, he looks great. Um, definitely, definitely recommended to O's fans. If you're getting all the combos or just your favorites, definitely recommend you pick this up just to have a solid O's figure. Dawson Rider seal of approval achieved with White Blaster Beetleborg power. Fist pump and stuff. So overall, highly recommended. So until next time, check out RidersRangersRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. And of course, check out the crazy podcast there and the awesome forums at the Ramboards. So until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.